Moving up to that Billy, coming out as a super scholastic store. I like that. That's a new one. <laughs> Breaking out some new material. He is really special. Danny Harris, more of a slasher than a shooter, although he will take the three. Yeah, he's better in transition. He really is a guy that's got to go up and down the floor, use that great speed, quickness. And again, keep in mind, Holiday, the freshman, has to guard Harris, who now steps back, launches the three, and leaves it way short. I think that's one of his biggest dilemmas as a player, is understanding at the finding shot selection. Offensive foul, Drew Gordon. <laughs> But meanwhile, one of the other freshmen, Drew Holiday, as you said, living up to his billing so far tonight. Oh, great little head fake. He freezes the defensive player. I love this kid. This kid is a definite diaper dandy. He's a diaper dandy. And he's not a one-and-out player. He's not going to be that kind of talent like Rose was and or Beasley, a super, super player. He's going to need college. So I think it's going to really help him as well. Right with a... Miss jumper and then Gibson over the back is called for the foul for Michigan. That'll be his second. You know, Harris is zero in the last 14 minutes, hasn't scored. They gotta have him certainly involved more offensively. Averaging 28 points per game in Michigan's first two games of the season. Michigan, though, even with their high score, relatively quiet so far, down only three to the Bruins. I don't think UCLA has the offensive firepower to really blow people away. They're very methodical. They're going to win their share of games, obviously, because of their defensive ability and their great perimeter play. Offensive foul, Darren Collison. I mean, just like the Miami of Ohio game, I mean, that game, the tempo of the game, Charlie Coles really does a terrific job at Miami of Ohio. They just couldn't come up with a big shot. Well, you mentioned a little bit earlier, Dick, you thought the Big East this year is going to be the strongest conference of any conference of the 30 years you've been doing college basketball. Seton Hall beating USC uh, lends a little credence to this. Well, you know, I, I think when you look at the depth factor, I mean, you talk about up on top with Connecticut and Jim Calhoun's kids are going to be a top five team. Louisville, now they got Terrence Williams back, Samardo Sanders and company, Rick Pitino. He's got a dynamite club. Notre Dame's going to be outside. He popped the ball. He popped the ball. I mean, take a look when you look at the top 25 and you just see how good it's going to be. Pittsburgh, I think Pittsburgh, without a doubt, is going to be a dynamite club all year. There it is, second of the top right 25 there. in the Big East. And obviously part of that is it's the biggest league in the country. Exactly, it has 16, 16 teams. teams. But still, I think everybody would agree that there are more contenders, more national contenders in the Big East than probably any other conference. And, and uh, the middle of that league is tough, too. I mean, you've got teams like uh, like West Virginia. I mean, West Virginia. What about the Villanova? Villanova's what about Syracuse. Yep. Nice pass. Good Dra inside play. Dragon inside. Open wide open. Nobody rotated over. He was wide open. Good diagonal pass. Hey, South Florida yesterday goes on the road and almost beats Virginia and loses in the last second out of Virginia. We're going to see Syracuse, from you mentioned, in Kansas City, the CBE Classic, coming up Monday and Tuesday night. And we'll see Syracuse play Florida and then Kansas play Washington. You know, I think that Syracuse will be better than people believe in that. We've got David North back yeah. to go with Harris, who's an outstanding athlete, and Johnny Flynn is absolutely special. Yeah. He is special. Talked to Jim Beheim the other day. He's really, really pleased with his club. He thinks they're going to be a good basketball team. Five-point lead for UCLA. Final two and a half minutes now here in the first half. Semifinal number two with the winner to take on Duke in the championship game tomorrow night. 7 Eastern right here on ESPN2. Roll off to Dragovic for three. That's what Dragovic can do. He can shoot the three. Dragovic, a young man who was suspended for their first game of the season. He was uh, not charged, but he was arrested yes. on suspicion of misdemeanor battery. In a, an incident reportedly involving his girlfriend. The news out today that there will be a hearing next month involving Dragovic and his girlfriend. But again, no charges have been laid. And it was Ben Howland who suspended him for one game. Collison, nobody stops the ball, and he knocks down the free throw line jump. Well, that's how you attack on the offensive end. Notice how he pulled up under control. A lot of guys would make the extra dribble, be up flying in the air, get call for a charge. That's the experience, and that's the All-American ability of Collison. Yeah, experience and talent, a pretty nice combination, and Darren Collison has loads of both. 
A 10-point lead now for UCLA, and let's check out the diagonal passing dig by UCLA in their offensive set. Yeah, they do a great job of passing the basketball. Here comes the diagonal, freeze the ball here. Now he's going to look to get the ball diagonally right across the lane. And he's going to make an excellent pass. 